going on, boys? Sekapoko here, bringing you another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. For this, we're going to be going over Law Forest and my clear for Law Forest for Global. Uh, so if you don't know about the Law Forest ship, the Law Forest ship is a 1.5 times attack booster for Free Spirit and Slasher characters. It also boosts the HP of uh, Slasher characters and, and Free Spirit characters by 1.25. It also makes Perfects a little easier to hit. In my experience of using the ship for a long time on JP, I have seen that it does make Perfects a lot easier to hit um, than people realize. Very, very nice ship to use um, as far as like if you're not perfect hitting Perfects or you really just need that little extra help. That's really nice for that too. And also with the HP boost and the attack boost makes it a great ship for those two types. Um, it, the uh, special ability of the ship is heals for 10,000 HP when your HP is extremely low. This extremely low means oh, below 20% HP. Uh, so if you're below 20%, which is most of the time when you need to heal, you're going to blow this heal and actually heal for 10k, which is really, really nice for free spirit teams if you're using a TS Luffy team or if you're say, using uh, Adventure by Mia. No, uh, if you're using, uh, say, a TS Zoro team or, uh, let's say, it Mihawk team or something like that, or even a, a Psy Law team. So this ship was uh, actually originally created for uh, V1 Law, but V1 Law never really took off because he was just not that great. But to him, make, this ship makes it um, a little bit easier to perfect, so you can actually try out some V1 Law teams and see if you'll be good. All right, guys, well, I hope you guys enjoy the Force team. All right, well, getting into the Forest, um, I probably overstalled a little bit, and uh, it is, it's probably one of the more difficult forests in the game. Um, I'd say it's the third most difficult forest. Uh, Kizar being the most difficult, um, Blackbeard Forest being the second most difficult, and then um, this would be the third most difficult. Okay, so right here we gotta kill Foxy with the Usopp. Make sure you kill him with Usopp, and then you'll be fine. It's whoever you kill him with gives him the locked orb. I didn't know that till just now. Didn't know. And <clears throat> when we're talking about uh, the rest of this forest, um, the stall is really easy um, in the earlier stages like every other forest, but uh, the hard mechanic that, ha that you have here is that you're going to have 90 turns or 85 turns or something like that of anti-heal that you get from this guy here. Uh, 90 turns, yeah. So 89 turns after that, all said and done. So... Um, there's only a couple ways of getting around that. The, the first way is you have to stall it out, and the other way is you bring uh, Kobe to remove the 90 turn um, anti-heal, which could only be done if you're below uh, 3000 HP with the Kobe special. Um, There's a free-to-play way of doing this, and, um, but it's really difficult with Coliseum Ace, and then the, the other way is with uh, String Wolf Sword Zoro. Alright, now that we're finally below 3000 HP, God, it takes forever to get here. Now we can use Kobe. Finally. All right, now we kill him. All right, so the thought is you Marco right away. So I'm gonna pop Marco and I'm gonna pop a Jimbe. And then we just rush this room, basically. And then we go on from there. All right, so we just got to kill Killer. And I almost killed Jinbei. If I had candies, I would have killed Jinbei. I mean, uh, Jinbei, uh, uh, Don, uh, what's his name? This dude. Dude in the back. Alright, so we have Bonnie's down. Cool. And then I think I can do this dude in one turn with like really bad orbs. I'm pretty sure I can. Nah, let's just not. Let's just not. Below 50% he does a counter, so we'll just we'll take a hit. It's no big deal. Really bad orbs. I wasn't. I'm not about that risk. I want to risk the whole forest for something I can just try over two turns. All right. So I'm gonna use a special here. Um, the reason you can use a special here is because you're gonna be waiting out a long time for this barrier. Um, you don't have to, but it's a good idea. Nice. 
nice. So I'm um, stalling on Kid here because I need to wait for all my specials, and it's gonna be a consistent theme where anytime you use a special, uh, just like, like you stall trying to get your meat orbs, try to do as little damage as possible while you go through it. Um, I'm gonna do this in pretty much every forest that you need to stall. Uh, you're just gonna like tap the boss as quick as you can, do damage really slowly over time, and try to do it just kill the boss afterward. Um, stall for the specials and get everything up. Um, I think I overstalled just a little bit. I didn't realize I overstalled, but it's fine. It worked out in the end. <laughs> Overstalling is always a good. Okay. I guess I should have ended that. Oh well, it's fine. It's no big deal. Oh dude, this harder to hit perfect thing is really annoying. So, um, the mechanic here is if you get him below 50% HP, he's going to silence one unit for 10 turns. You just got to make sure that it kind of lines up with your cooldowns and you should be fine. Um, he doesn't do very much damage uh, from here. This room and the next room have the same amount of damage on the stall. It's only off by like a few hundred uh, per turn, so it's really not that bad on either room. Uh, same with that large HP pull in, it's a little bit easier to get through it. Can't wait one more turn. Alright, well, I guess that worked out okay. 14.7k, thank you. I'm too lazy to do math right now. Oh, I really hope I have the damage here. I should have checked that out beforehand, but I guess I'm fine. That was a little scary. I guess we're fine. All right, so now we got to stall the whole way. So, um, Dante Zhao, I probably should have killed the, the guy in the back a little bit earlier, uh, the one that switches the badly matching orbs, but I kind of messed up. Like, you're supposed to kill that guy in the first turn, so you can um, then use a Jinbei special again to keep your matching orbs. But I got weird turns and like the attack water got all screwed up. So uh, it works out fine. Just uh, you gotta be a little careful sometimes. Uh, also right here, make sure um, there you plan for no preemptive. All right. Yeah, there's no preemptive. Good thing I waited the extra turn. Good thing, smart me.
Oh, it's global? Yeah, I know, right? Alright, so the stall on Luffy um, is a little scary. It's probably one of the more scary uh, parts of this entire forest because um, he does more damage than you have in your HP pool unless you have candies. Um, I don't have candies on this particular team. Uh, my teammate doesn't have candies. My friend Captain has candies, but uh, my team's not like fully candied out, so I'm missing a few thousand HP. Um, it's a little scary, but if you um, if you get lucky in your meetups, you should be fine here. This is where some of the luck starts coming in, and um, I didn't like that about this team, but it's okay. Um, it's it's not going to kill you unless you, you know, it From does. Here, um, delay for a couple turns. I switch gears right after that story. I don't know why I'm healing. <laughs> Alright, so now we go into the room. Just enough turns up for everything. Nice. You need this without Kobe? Probably not. We got good turns on the uh, Orlumbus, which is really nice. And we got good turns on Elizabeth. So that should help a lot. Um, all right, here we go. All right, so I gotta figure out what's the attack order here? I think the attack order is one, two, three, I think I think I only use three three people to kill him, right? All right, so we're gonna go one two. I think we need a one two three, and then we'll move on from there. Okay, that works out, I guess. I had a great. All right, so we want to kill Orlumbus. And Ideo. I can get the switch on to Elizabeth. Oh, dang. That was really hard to do. I, I don't know if I'm going to be okay. Because I'm supposed to get that switch on to Elizabeth, but I think I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Luckily, we got five turns on Elizabeth. Luckily. So, uh, now I delay with Usopp, and then we just stall out a bunch of turns here for our specials to come back up again. Alright, so this part's pretty easy um, once you get everything done. I actually, you're not supposed to eat meat orbs here, I didn't realize that until afterward. Just try to actually uh, go through it until um, your specials are up, and you should be fine. Uh, when you get to fight Hakuba, um, it's it's not that bad. You, like you have like wit, you actually have, I just fall extra here because I messed up and I shouldn't have eaten those meat orbs. But it's fine. Um, if you want to be safer, I guess you can eat the meat orbs, but it doesn't really matter much. Death hits. I don't know how much the death is it for though. So now he's gonna revive and then he's gonna hit me for some damage, and he's going to um, increase his damage by a lot. 
How much is the hit death hit for? 2700? Okay, that's not that bad. Okay, so now we just hit him. Until he dies. Cool. All right. So now we get on to law. We're getting either a shitload of bad orbs or not. And we actually got really bad luck. We only get two block orbs, so I guess that's pretty good. All right. So we're going to start off with a Jinbe special. And we have a bad orb on the Barnco, which is really unfortunate. Um, and we're going to start with this. All right. So I want to kill the Beppo 100%, and the other guy I can kind of leave alive, but I don't want to take hits on the other guy. Yeah, okay, so I took everything I had to kill the guy. So now I want to kill John Bart, and then whatever's left, oh, I want to kill um, the other dude. Okay, here we go. I had a great damn if I had a perfect we would have been fine all right so I'm gonna kill this dude I took a little extra damage which I hope I'm gonna be okay okay so now we just deal damage slowly to law he's gonna give me all bad orbs here right or oh he silenced GPU nice no big deal no big deal okay so now we just hit this dude as hard as we can until we get him to about 50% and then we burst from 50 over two turns, I think it is. I don't know how long I'm going to last. All right, so I was watching the guide video on this, and the other guy that did this, TSF, got like a ton of meat orbs beforehand, and that really saved him. So now we're actually getting some meat orbs, so we, sh we might be okay. Oh, yay, meat orbs. So juicy. It's a little RNG on the meat orbs, which I don't like, but I need a couple more to, to survive the next hit. Okay, I'm right at 50. So I think I need one more meat orb, and we're fine. I, I think I'm either fine or we need one more meat orb. It's for over 10,000 or under? Yeah, I need one more meat orb. Oh, we got it. Cool, 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 cool. So I'm going to get that extra turn in. I'm not going to get my orbs, so now we're going to save orbs. Okay, so now... We burst from what my what I saw is from here you burst and then you try to kill him in two turns supposedly I don't know because um, you can try to heal with Kobe and then try to get an extra couple turns there but I don't know I'm gonna try to kill him in two turns all right here we go All right, so moment of truth here. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, Law of Force Clear on Global. Nice, nice. All right, cool, cool. <laughs> that was fun, that was fun. Nice. All right. Well, I'm Sega Bogo. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please hit the like and subscribe button down below. And of course, have a great rest of your day. Peace.